Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how I use the Trapcore 3D Store plugin. I'm not an expert at this, but I downloaded it and I was playing around a bit and I used it in one of my edits or a few of my edits and people liked it and were asking for tutorials, so here it is. Um, I'll basically just show you how I used it, so please don't go there and just copy everything. But it would still be nice if you could leave a rating, rating because that really helps me out and yeah, it would be awesome and also if you have any tutorial requests or anything just write in the comments i read all of my comments so yeah that's basically it um so there are tons of different ways that you can use it like you can motion track the 3d stroke plugin like the stroke onto like a cinematic like i did here um or you could motion track it to like if you haven't if you haven't seen this edit then be sure to check it out first so that you know what we're talking about. So you could also use it for like target things like this. I motion track that to a head and you could also use it for transitions and stuff like as you can see here it becomes bigger and then covers the whole screen and then the next clip starts and the next clip gets visible again. So basically there are no clips here but everything that's black will be visible later. So let's get started. Um, I already prepared two clips for the transition stroke so I'll just show you how I did that um, by the way I added some effects to the um, 3d stroke so that it looks better like I added um, glow and star glow so yeah but I will just show you how to animate it now so basically the first thing you want to do is add a new um, a layer like solid and then add the effect 3d stroke to it <clears throat> so then you want to find the frame um, oh no first of all so basically 3d stroke um, it basically um, when you draw a mask like this it will um, start drawing it like the stroke will go that way but there are also tons of presets for um, yeah for this so basically what you can do is I think I use this presets real starfish or something okay that's may sound, we uh, sound weird if I say it but whatever so um, basically what you want to do now is animate it so there are different ways to do this you can keyframe the end and start of it but I like to keyframe the offset so you want it to be at zero when you want the transition to happen then you go forward uh, no back like 10 frames and bring it down to <coughs> minus 100 then go forward 20 frames and bring it to 100. So basically, what it does now, it just animates in and out. Nothing too special. Um, so, what what you want to do now is um, easy ease the keyframes so that it looks a bit better. So just select the keyframes and press F9, so that will make them more smooth. Like it looks a bit better. And then what you want to do is keyframe the thickness. Um, now first of all you want this to cover the whole screen so you may want this to be a bit bigger so you could just scale up the solid but that's shit so what you want to do is go to camera and change the um, I think let me just check uh, the zoom and just bring it um, up till it covers most of the screen then you go to thickness and bring it up till it covers everything like almost everything it's okay if there's a bit left and then you just go to the start frame and bring it down to like three like all personal preference you can use whatever settings you want to and then just bring it back to normal again so what it does now let's just ease these keyframes again what it does now is just animating in and out like that looks a bit weird but you, there are tons of different options that you can do and use like don't go there and use this pre preset because I used it in this tutorial go there and add some use some other stuff or make make them your, on your own like um, I will show you more stuff and maybe I will make another tutorial on um, like other things you can do with this and this tutorial will just show you how to do the transition so um, and also in my next tutorial I could release a preset for this text effect so if I get enough likes and positive feedback on this I will um, upload this for you so that would be a nice idea I think so let's also change the color to a nice orange or something <clears throat> like that another thing you should do is 
enable the taper I guess I don't know if I pronounce it right so just go there and click enable so that basically makes it um, more realistic um, but then you might have to go there and keyframe the thickness again because it will also make it a bit uh, smaller like it's it will move more like it will be more realistic let me just show it to you on this so basically if I disable the taper it looks like this like all the same thickness and if you enable it it likes it's like um, <laughs> I don't really don't know how to explain this but I think you should get the idea so basically um, let me just copy the glow settings and stuff so that looks so that this looks a bit better um, if I also if I get enough likes I will also release these settings um, okay this looks quite okay um, another thing you should do is enable motion blur so just tick this box like click there and click here this will also make it look a bit more realistic let me just preview this for you uh, nothing too special like it looks a bit weird but there are tons of different options and methods um, okay another thing you should do is definitely um, saving hold on go to the frame where you don't see anything like from the clip and then just cut it so that's a, basically a pretty nice transition you could also go there and like put a glow on the clip at the start and then make it become <coughs> become more sharp again like you get the idea so let me just um, show you a few like well what I do there um, let's just go and use another preset this also looks quite nice but you always have to go there and play around with the settings and stuff um, so let me just show you um, basically that's pretty much it I guess um, how long is this? 7 minutes so yeah I think if I made it a bit longer it would become boring so if you want another tutorial on um, like how to put this into a clip and if you want these settings and also the text preset then please go ahead and press the like button and also if you have any tutorial requests just write them in the comments or on Facebook or my Twitter page like follow me and stuff so yeah I hope you're awesome um, thanks for watching and that's it bye